hi friends what's this progress bar we can change this value by changing this slider this integration we have already discussed now let's change the background color of this progress bar now it is red and we can change it again we can make it yellow and change the value again we can go back to green and change the values we'll see how to do this we'll start from this blank window or template and in this we'll use the our style first s equal to ttk ttk we have imported at line number two here you can see that we are using it here and for that style okay next is what's the theme we are using for our this application so we are using uh, anything you can use so one uh, we have to give let's use alt so the list of themes are available we can see anything from that we can see and that also will vary from different operating systems now let's configure it configure now we'll say uh, let's start with red red horizontal now t g r e progress bar so this style we are using and we are just simply selling that background background this background equal to red so fine now two more will configure so we'll write it like one more i'll just copied it pasted it one more will go so red next one is we'll say yellow and background is we'll say yellow now here we'll say green here also we'll make it so three styles we have configured now this we can add to our uh, progress bar so for that at the top let's add one label so we'll say tk dot it's simple message will give what we are going to do so my underscore w is my parent window you can see at the line number four at the top it is we are declared it so in this we, i will first write a text here text equal to changing style of sty style of progress bar or whatever you want to write it write it here slightly bigger font will go font equal to let's give 16 and bg equal to yellow so it will be little prominently it will be visible so let me put it here okay i'm just going to the next line so i am placing it on the grid l1 dot grid now row equal to zero the topmost and column equal to zero sorry column equal to zero so it is at the top left first so but here because i want to use three buttons below so i'll give a column span here column span equal to three now pad y i am giving 15 because it is not flush to the top or uh, from the below item and it is maintaining a gap of 15 so vertical padding this is now in that this is my top uh, whatever message i want to give now let me just give prg1 or this is my progress bar ttk dot progress bar my parent window is my underscore w length uh length equal to let's give 320 because this is on based on the window size whatever you are mode equal to uh determinant minute me in a in a t e so you can see what this modes and alignment all this in our uh, progress bar tutorial also so maximum value we are giving it as 100 now we'll say present value equal to okay i'll take it to the next line uh, value equal to 75 now this is where the default when it opens that where the pointer will be now i am saying style this is important for us style equal to now i will say yellow dot horizontal dot progress bar so this is the one we are saying now let's place this in our grid so we'll say our uh, one dot grid this uh, row it is below the uh, 
the first message what you are given so row 1 column equal to 0 now again column span column span c o k c o l column span equal to 3 and pad x equal to let's give a uh, from the left edge 20 and pad y equal to let's give 45 so this is the gap from the top and bottom edge i am giving it so my progress bar is ready uh, okay we'll do one more thing we'll place the scale also then we'll insert the button so for that i'm just leaving at the line number one i'm going to line number three and we'll see how the scale is there scale 1 equal to tk dot scale now what this scale will do is actually we have explained already how this integration can work on another video you can see that link is at the bottom from it is equal to 0 and 2 equal to 100 so this scale or the uh, slider will vary in that now let me just put it horizontally sorry orient orient is horizontal fine now what i will do i'll give a command to this command equal to my update this my update i have not written i will write it that one so length equal to now say 200 now if i don't write it that will generate error so i'll just write it uh, here i will go after the progress bar here I will define my update or this is the function that will update my let let just pass it and we'll see how our layout works if so far it there is is there any error message or not okay this is the sorry the old one was there now I am open the new one here it is so changing style of okay the scale I have not placed it on the grid is okay now let me place it my scale on the grid first so my scale one dot grid now i am giving intentionally the row is here i am giving three because at the same in between the bottoms will come row equal to three column equal to equal to starts from zero column span is three now let's just see this how this looks here it is i can re change this one but these two are not integrated now let's interlock the our progress bar with the, our slider so for that we will take the value here and next line one line only we have already discussed this prg1 inside this the value attribute this one equal to my scale scale uh, 1 scale 1 my c l e my scale 1 that is what we have used so this get so the value will read by using my the slider value whatever it is we read it and then we assign it to a progress bar so i'm just saving this and running so what happens now okay let's just close this and open it once again okay now you can see this both are interlocked let's add our color buttons to this so b1 equal to tk dot button now my underscore w my parent window text so so this uh, over the button will write red so this is the red uh, button now bg this background color also of this button also will give it red so you can easily identify it a slightly bigger font will use font equal to 20 now we'll put a comma go to the next line here we'll start our command equal to lambda now this lambda prg1 or prg1 is our progress bar config this is the config option we can change any attribute of the it is not only for the progress bar it can for the any widget also so config now what we are changing which attribute we are changing we are changing the style this style now we are making it red we are red okay what instead of that i will just copy this line from here up to this this i am assigning it here that's all now i can change it to red 
so but i will place it on a grid so b1 dot grid it is in between the scale scale we have that is why we are intentionally given the scale as row 3 you can see here so we'll put it as in the row 2 sorry 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 grid now we'll say row equal to 2 now uh, column is first one column is equal to 0 because it is the leftmost one will not add anything more now here you can see this will work let's just check it we have added a one button at in between now let's just see how this works here it is now anytime i click this button uh, not defined okay here i did a mistake t progress bar p is upper case i have not sorry here t p upper case here also horizontal uh, progress bar now here also p1 i will come here again i will make it yes okay let's just see how this works yeah so click this it's become red now i can still change it okay now let me just add another two i'll just copy this one sorry up to this button one now i'll copy this pasting it here i'll move up a bit i'm pasting my b2 this is for b2 second button yellow and b3 so let me just change it here make it b2 now red yellow text i'm just changing now here the background color also i'll change to make it yellow now here i will say yellow this is what I, we are declared at the top now this column will be equal to here one because right of our button one or red button now we'll come to b3 b3 is green let's say light green you can use green or anything so b3 button now i'll say green background is light green i have used now here my this thing is green again progress bar green now column should be right of it so column is 2 okay here i have to make it b3 b3 so that's all now let's just run this and see sorry 1 b1 row 2 column 1 row 2 my where is my red yellow yellow button something i missed here wait row 2 column 2 sorry b1 is 0 row 2 column 0 where is my yellow text is yellow style row 2 call column oh, sorry here i have missed the text as b2 okay now let me just run it again okay three buttons have come up i can change red yellow green whatever i do and anytime i can change the this one also status of the progress bar i can see so any color i can assign by using the style property of the our progress bar so that's all friends so hope it you can download the entire source code and i will request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new tutorial and we frequently do that and if you have any doubt suggestion questions for us leave it in the comment section below and accordingly we'll work on our script please share this with your friends and thank you for watching